Hi. I look terrible. Anyways, I wanted to update about um, my medicine and my mental health. Um, I don't know where I left off, but I'm still wickedly depressed. <laughs> um, it's coming in waves where I'll just be like, meh, and then I'll be like, deeply depressed and it's so like I don't know like I've never been like that depressed before like before recently and I don't know if that means my Wellbutrin is doing because it did not start until after I started my Wellbutrin and that might mean I have to get off of my Wellbutrin which scares me because it keeps me from eating so much and I'm losing weight on it, but I don't want to end up dead. <laughs> like, I don't know. And my dose got increased from 300 to 450. And the 450, I asked for that increased dose because I wanted my appetite suppressed more, <laughs> to be honest. And that dose makes me have a fat panic attack and I only have like a two weeks worth left of my 300s and I don't see my psych for another three weeks so eventually I have to get on the 450 or I have to get my appointment moved and I'm too scared to call <sighs> um I did some genetic testing last time I was there to see what kind of medicines are compatible with my genes and hopefully that helps but I'm scared to start any other antidepressants out of fear of gaining weight and yeah that's that's how it's going um I'm wondering if I stay on it long enough if it'll go away but it just seems to be getting worse and there's a lot of like environmental stuff that would be making me depressed like my home and my family and things like that and not being with my friends etc so I'm just thinking that build up and then the fact that I haven't been to a psychiatrist or a psychologist in months is not okay and I saw my old psychiatrist psychologist <laughs> And she told me that she can only see me once a month. And that's just not enough for me. So I didn't tell her that because I, I wanted... She was my backup, you know? And I have an appointment next Tuesday to meet with a new psychologist. Um, she said she wanted to meet and see if we were a good match. And I really, really hope that she takes me. Like, I'm so desperate. For help I need help and if she turns me down I don't know what I'm gonna do and yeah so I'm worried about that but she seems like a great fit for me because she specializes in trauma and eating disorders etc and she does DBT and yeah so that's where I'm at um, Also, I'm afraid if I get off the Wellbutrin, the Rick Salty's gonna make me tired again. And I'm not so tired since I've been taking the Wellbutrin, but like, I need to get my crap together and realize that me being that depressed is way worse than all of the other things. Like, even if I have a harder time losing weight, at least I won't be wickedly suicidal. Like, <laughs> I mean, I don't know. And... Just an update on my weight, trigger warning. Uh, I got up to 130 pounds, I'm five foot four and a half, and I freaked out and I've lost, I'm down to 119.8 now. And that, it's been two weeks, so. Yeah, um, half of me is not happy that I'm losing weight so fast because I know what it does to my body. But the other half of me is hoping that I lose the last five or so pounds 
fast because my next goal weight is 115 and sorry um yeah my next goal weight is 115 and that's where I about where I was before I was 114 and that's where I started to feel confident and now that I'm under 120 I feel a little bit more confident like my face is slimming a little not right now because I had a lot of sodium <laughs> but yeah um my I moved <laughs> my ultimate goal weight before was it's always been 109 108 ish like when I first started my eating disorder uh like when it got bad my goal weight was 115 and I got below that and after I got below that my goal weight was 108 because 108 is the lowest I can go without technically being underweight I think 108 is like just barely underweight and so that's where I want to be and I know that's gross or whatever but when you are not in recovery and you're just chilling with an eating disorder without treatment it just be like that so yeah um but I know that once I get down to 108 because I will I'm determined once I get down that far, what if I'm not done losing weight? And I don't... I don't know. It's scary. So, yeah. That's just an update on me. Um, I don't know if you care, but I kind of post these videos for myself as well. So I can look back at them in the future. And hope you enjoyed seeing my sodium-filled, fat, bulimia face. <laughs> um... Thank you for watching. I'll uh, probably post more videos soon because I've been real, real sad, real down. Um, I feel very alone. Um, if you could leave a comment about anything, like even if it's just how your day is going, I'd really appreciate that. Oh, also, my Tumblr with 1,600, yeah, no, 16,183 followers got deleted because they said I was glorifying self-harm and eating disorders. I was not. Um, I was venting. But, okay. <laughs> yeah, so now I have nowhere to advertise my YouTube videos besides my very small Instagram. So wish me luck on that. Share this with your friends who have problems. Also, book recommendation. Just a second. This, I super duper duper recommend this book. It's called Purge Rehab Diaries and it's by Nicole Johns. And it's about a girl who has an eating disorder, obviously. And she gets put inpatient. Uh, she has eating disorder, eating disorder not otherwise specified, which I believe I have. I'm diagnosed with anorexia and bulimia. But I don't fit the criteria for anorexia, so I think I have e endos, e eating disorder, not otherwise specified. But that's not what I'm diagnosed with. Anyways, um, this girl is a normal weight. She's my height, and she was my age during this book. It's a memoir about her time in the hospital, and she touches on the other girl's eating disorders and all of her experiences. And it's great, especially if you're in recovery. It's very motivating, so... I recommend this and also if you want I'm selling one right now because I accidentally bought two I'm just wanting you to pay shipping like six bucks um I'll update in the description if it sells but you can comment if you want my email so yeah thank you for watching I'll see ya I'm sorry I'm so weird bye